Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 2nd. Right now we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see the Pacific Ocean here. There's the Hawaiian Islands. There's the state of California. You can see our upper level low now tracking across Nevada and Utah as we speak. You can see the ridge out here. This anticyclonic rotation clockwise, that is that ridge that's going to be building across a lot of the west coast here after the system moves through the Pacific Northwest. And then we'll take a look down here across the tropics. Looks like we're going to have some tropical development. Still no signs of this moving into the southwest USA but it's always something to watch at this time of year we'll dive into that a little bit and then we'll take a look at the extended it looks like the storm track is going to point back at the Pacific Northwest and possibly include some portions into California here as well this is looking at this day in SoCal weather history October 2nd look at 1858 only tropical cyclone on record to bring hurricane force winds to Southern California occurred on this date San Diego experienced a 74 five mile per hour wind there category one hurricane that would uh, equivalent to but yeah interesting stuff here it, it, just a kind of reminder that it is very rare but it can happen down there nice stuff here from the national weather service san diego this is the warming coming up here this week this is los angeles national weather service here i mean it's nothing too crazy out there it's just mainly a big warm-up for a lot of places here but it, you know you're not reaching summertime temperatures here for a lot of areas as well except for some of the bay area and, and whatnot you're getting some pretty warm temperatures at least comparatively speaking we'll look at those details here in a moment you can see las vegas here warming up as we go through the week coming up getting back towards 90 degrees by the time we get towards friday and if you want a nice affordable home weather station to record all this crazy weather we get here along the west coast and the southwest usa click on that link down below to save 10 percent this is looking at the Composite reflectivity. This is the NAM hot off the presses 12. So you can see the upper level low spinning. Maybe a few showers as we go through this afternoon across the Sierra Nevada. And maybe some light breeze up here moving its way across Northern California and no big precipitation totals expected. And then you can see us really dry out here. Precipitation comes to an end, ridge builds over the area, and the warm up begins. This is looking at 925 millibars, it's about 2,500 feet. And you can kind of see the north wind coming down across the area today. And watch as this, you know, we're getting this northwest wind, watch it turn offshore here as we go on. Let's go scrolling in through Tuesday night here. And you can kind of see that offshore wind coming straight out of the east and the northeast here across a lot of the state. And that's what's really going to warm us up here as well. Look at this all the way out over the coastal areas. Get this offshore flow. You know, warm things up here across much of the region. We'll take a look at the temperatures here in a moment. Check out the relative humidity here. We're going to put this into motion. And you can see as we go, we're going to start to dry out here quite nicely across a lot of the area all the way towards the coastline here. Probably going to erase a lot of this marine layer as well when we get that offshore wind flowing here. This is looking at the uh, upper level ridge here and the trough. This is 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. This is that low pressure system moving off. And you can clearly see, like we looked on the infrared satellite imagery, this ridge developing across much of the West Coast. Tropical system developing down there. And again, we got to watch this closely because the models have this kind of bumping around, bubbling around. GFS brings it back up into uh, kind of northern portions of Mexico here. So we got to watch that closely. And then you can see kind of the hint of the return of the Gulf of Mexico storm track into the Pacific Northwest, which could include some portions the California depending on just how this trough develops we're watching that closely more on that here in a moment this is looking at the tropical cyclone formation here 90 percent chance now here in the next 48 hours it is developing here down to the south southeast of Baja California this is precipitable water GFS put it into motion this is last night's run you can see that system develop here and it kind of gets bounced around here it doesn't know where to go these ridges can uh, you know these ridges tend to steer these systems here and as that ridge moves off it may develop it may start to push back over to the northeast here as well into mexico right now it does not show it moving into california however but we got to watch this closely as we have some models disagreeing with that and these are high impact events here so something to watch but take a look at this atmospheric river returning the pacific northwest on through the extended take that with a grain of salt right now still technically a fantasy forecast but look at that big mid-latitude cyclone there could push some of this precipitation down into california the european is wetter than the gfs with this system here as we go on to the 100 and 70 hour plus time frame more on that here in a moment as well national blend of models you can see today temperatures tomorrow wednesday thursday you can see the slow gradual warm-up here and it's going to go all the way out to some of the coastal areas here as well as you can see by the end of next week uh, of this week we're going to be warming up quite nicely here coming up this will be for friday some of the desert areas returning back to the 100 degree mark here as well and some 90s for the valleys and some pretty warm temperatures all the way out to the bay areas also we'll look at those here in a moment also
And this is looking at the GFS, two meter temperature anomaly, upper level low. You can clearly see the below average temperatures here are going to be replaced with the above average temperatures. As the ridge builds over the area, you can clearly see it. We're looking at basically a one day temperature anomaly period here. So you can kind of see this develop. And then you see that storm track start to return here towards Pacific Northwest, which could be including some of uh, Central and Northern California, something to watch to the extended, as I mentioned. This is Burbank. Check it out. You can see the average high for this time of year this weekend is about, what, 82, 83, and you're going to be up towards 95, maybe even a little bit warmer than that here. So you're looking at 10, 15 degrees above average. This is Fresno. You can kind of see what 82 versus 95, maybe 15 degrees above average as we go through the weekend. Nice warm up incoming here. Las Vegas, a little bit above average here. Nothing too crazy though. I mean, a, a 90 degree day in Las Vegas really is not that big of a deal this time of year. Same thing for Phoenix. You can see maybe a hundred degree day reading there on Friday and up close to it there for the weekend coming up, but nothing too crazy. You can see the average temperature this time year it's slowly declining about the low 90s as we get towards this weekend san jose though check it out look at the average temperature about 76 and you're getting up towards 95 here or so so 15 maybe 20 degrees above average or some of the bay area look at san francisco you could get up towards 90 degrees on thursday what a treat huh Check out the average temperature this time of year. It's kind of hovering right around 69 degrees, but you'll get back down towards average most likely here as we get towards next week's period. This is the monthly drought outlook. Just pointing this out that California is drought free here. You can see the Pacific Northwest dealing with some drought concerns, portions of Arizona and New Mexico, but uh, California doing quite nicely here. Just like to point that out. This is the six to 10 day temperature outlook. This is uh, through October 11th. And you can clearly see the above average signal here across much of the West. And you can see that at the end of the period here, the storm track starting to return to the West coast here. So eyes are going to be on that as well as that tropical system here. How is this going to develop? Where is it going to move? It could move back up towards the southwest here also continue to watch that day by day 8 to 14 day temperature outlook through october 15th above average signal here still across much of the west and the precipitation again we could bring that storm track back down into california here as we go we'll watch that of course as we go now this is the european on the left versus gfs on the right we're going to look off into the extended a little bit here and you can see the upper level trough here that's moving out good model agreement between the gfs on the right and the european there and this is washington california there's hawaii there's the Pacific Ocean here. You can see the ridge develop and kind of dominate the weather here for a few days. Both models have that tropical system down there to the south of Baja. And then the things are going to get squirrely, as you can see, the GFS kind of a stronger storm here that moves back towards Mexico here. And then the Europeans still developing another tropical system at about the 10 day period off to off the coastline of um, Mexico here as well. But you can see some pretty big discrepancies as we get up into the future. So something to watch here. And then you can see on both models, the storm track returning to the West Coast, the European definitely further south and deeper with this trough towards the coastline as we go off in towards the early portion of next week. So still some fun stuff to be watching this is total precipitation in inches and we put that into motion and i'm going to show you that you can see some of that heavier precip return in northern california here maybe trying to clip central california but not too much on the gfs gets a little bit down there and you can kind of see some differences that will be working out here over the next few days and then the european wants to bring another one on in through the following weekend there but yeah just purely fantasy right now just kind of looking out in the tea leaves this is the month monthly temperature outlook this was issued on september 30th this is for october much the lower 48 above average chances here and if you look at this graph here so above normal this color here 33 to 40 percent chance of above normal conditions this is not actually a reading of just how warm it's going to be this is just a percentages that any given area are going to be above normal here so you can kind of see this next layer here is 40 to 50 percent and the one up here across the northern tier is what 50 to 60 percent there and you can see portions of alaska so this is not a temperature forecast it is just the probability of being above normal temperatures you can see the equal chances down here, kind of 50-50. But anyway, yeah, here goes our ridge. It's coming in here. Tropical system developing there. We'll be watching that closely. And then we'll continue to watch the fantasy forecast for return storms into the West Coast here through the mid portion of October. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe. Leave some comments below. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.